Tip fatigue. Ever heard of it? Some consumers are certainly feeling it. And depending on what service you're paying for, you might feel obligated to tip. But do you actually need to? Our Barrett Leone went to the experts to find out. We've all been there. Don't quite know what to do sometimes. You're grabbing a coffee when the barista spins a tablet around to complete your order. Not so much on the coffee. Okay. If you stay at a hotel or something like that, we, we try to leave, leave the tip every, every night. But it's not just coffee. Everything has, do you want to add a tip? Da 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 da. And you kind of feel guilty if you don't, like, because then when you turn it back to the people, they say, oh, she's not tipping me. And they don't think that, but that's what runs through your head. About 70% of Americans say tipping is expected in more places today than it was five years ago. Experts agree. There's what we call tip inflation, which means that we see that people are kind of pushing for a higher level of tip to be given. And, you know, basically, it's you're not obligated. Julie France is an etiquette instructor at the St. Paul Hotel. She says the culture around tipping took a shift during the pandemic. And now... We're experiencing tip fatigue. But here's the rules. We tip those individuals in the service industry that make our lives easier or have created a wonderful experience for us. It can be fluid, but France says a good rule of thumb is to tip the people who help you on a daily basis. Servers, hairdressers, food or grocery delivery drivers, nail technicians, and housekeepers. Yes, it is part of our culture. And yes, it is part of many service people wages. So that's why if it's possible, be as generous as you can. Do not tip professionals like lawyers, teachers, plumbers, or anyone with a salary. That includes anyone working counter service, meaning tipping on takeout isn't necessary. It is not mandatory. We do feel obligated, but it's out of the goodness of your heart that you appreciate people and you would leave a tip. Barrett Leone, WCCO News. Brent says 15 to 20 percent is the ideal tipping range, but that can vary too depending on the service. Gotta always include the service.